We hustle daily. What's going on, Hustle Nation? Welcome back to another video, man. It's your boy Big Play Rizze coming to y'all with another video, man. You see how nasty that window look? Can y'all see it? I gotta see if this window is like scratched up on the outside or I can't tell. So we're gonna have to clean this window up to get it clean. But anyway, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Can you see it? You see the little line in the window right there? I gotta see if that's from the inside or the outside. Uh, remember I was talking about leaving this tent on this car, but now I'm thinking like, mm, I don't know. Should I take it off and just have them do? Cause this, I don't even know if that's dark enough. I can't tell. It's, it's hard to tell what the what the tent size is on this, uh, how dark it is, the percentage is when it's um this window not tinted. And I know y'all hear the wind noise. I don't got that door panel on right. Like I showed y'all yesterday, that door panel is not on correctly, but that's what this video is about. I'm actually about to take the, as y'all know, I should have never changed the door handles, man. I should have left the door handle silver and just changed the lock part, but now I'm causing more work for myself. But I'm about to go to my mom's crib again with the other door. My homie, uh, Raymo, was about to help me out, man. Raymo, shout out to him. Make sure y'all follow him on Instagram. I'll put his Instagram on the side of the screen. Um, and yeah, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram all social media platforms tiktok instagram link in the description below damn what the hell he got in the middle of the road he tripping it's like literally like a piece of wood in the middle of the road that's crazy man it's dangerous but um like i say in today's video we're gonna i shouldn't have changed the silver doorknob so into this video we're gonna actually uh get the doorknob actually working back properly because y'all don't if y'all don't know my I can't open the door from the outside. So in this video, we are going to be attacking the door handle, man. From the outside, I gotta take the door panel back off. My homie gonna come through, he's gonna help me. Maybe two people, we can get this done quick, give him a couple of dollars and, um, you know what I'm saying, we'll be good. Then it'll be ready for paint. I've been going back and forth on what I'm gonna paint the car. Uh, I was gonna go back brown. And then I started thinking about that red. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all remember Desi Lexus is red. I put it on the side of the screen. Hopefully I can remember to do that. Um it's red. And it's a it's a Lexus ring. I actually seen a GS red the other day, and I was like, man, that joint hard. And you know it's gonna stand out. That brown, the brown is cool, it's different, but that red different too, because I don't see it a lot. I don't see them in red a lot. You see these in white, black, and silver. You don't see them in this brown that this color that this car is, and you don't see them in uh, red a lot. I think the GSF come in the red, but I don't think that was a GSF I seen yesterday. But then again, I'm like, man, for budget, you know, leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Or should I leave it brown and paint the brake calipers red? I can paint the brake calipers red. I'll show y'all that on the side of the screen. Or I can paint them yellow. I'll put that on the side of the screen for y'all too. Uh, I seen some two cars online, two Porsches online that was red and yellow. But other than that, y'all, we're gonna get this door handle fixed today. I see y'all at my mom's crib. Um, I think I got, I'm a little early, uh, but I'm gonna just chill over there until he comes. So. See y'all when we get there, man. We're gonna be uh doing this thing. Let me show you how this thing riding though. Y'all see what's going on, man. This thing is riding super smooth. You know what I'm saying? I'm riding in eco mode right now. You know what I mean? Your boy be riding in that eco mode, you know, on the highway. But I think I'm uh I think I'm trying to like really see the difference in between all the modes. I see I can from driving it just yesterday from uh from my mom's crib to let me let this dude in front from my mom's crib to home i seen that eco mode is kind of like really uh laggish some like i read i would say like laggish but um and that's not blinking either that's just doing that because of the uh camera but uh normal mode i ain't really drove too much in normal mode but you know what i'm saying that that, that rs nice but yeah, man, I'll see y'all when we get to the mom's crib, man. I'm just trying to, you know, figure out all the modes. Eco is very laggy. 
but I wouldn't mind, I guess, riding it on the highway, you know what I'm saying, smooth ride, but we're gonna see what normal mode do when I uh, get off the highway, I'm gonna ride in normal mode. Cause I can really tell that like eco mode is like really sluggish, so I'm about to try uh, normal mode out. So yeah. All right, made it over here to mom's crib. So this is the task, the door handle. Let me show y'all what's going on with it. So it's like it's not on the thing that needs to be. See, it's just it's just loose. So we got to get that right. And it is just um, what you call that dirt on the window so it can actually be cleaned off so it's not the window is actually not scratched because i thought the window was scratched but so door handle man like i say man i should have never touched this stuff my are they looking a little better or are they still kind of ashy damn but it's looking a little better y'all um i'm all over the place i should have never touched this you know what i'm saying but i do like the way they lined up it lined up good one more time for you guys. Oh, I should let the window down. Never mind. I'm not gonna close the door because I can't open it from the outside. But let's get this door panel off. Um, my partner's on his way over here. By that time, I'll just have the door panel off all the way. So, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. The more I do, the less I gotta pay him to do. You know what I'm saying. I just need help messing with the doorknob, and we're gonna get this doorknob fixed before we uh get the car painted. Also, this is the old door handle. I can just pretty much show you guys real quick what's going on. Hold on. Yeah, so we're going to be messing with this piece in here. This piece right here that you see on the ground here. Not on the ground, but laying right here with the yellow. This whole little piece, that's the thing that controls the, um, you know, the keyless entry. So I'm just trying to make sure I get all of this stuff right before I take these doors and, you know, um, dump them. I just want to make sure I got this everything right. Then I got some more parts and stuff over here too. I don't know if I should sell this stuff or what. Some of this stuff gonna be thrown away like these little, these pieces that go on the door. I don't need those. Um, maybe I'll try to sell this on eBay, maybe. Um, I don't know, maybe the door hinges too, maybe, I don't know. Are they the same? See, that's what I'm saying. 40, 33, see? Everything's the same. I didn't even need to change this, man. See what I'm saying? But what I'm thinking is happening is no, this don't got nothing to do or do it. Hold on, guys. Let me see something. So, well, I think this is a, okay. Turn it over. It's missing a piece. Or maybe this is a different door. Yeah, these are different. Yeah, they look different. Okay. So one's for a back door, one's for a front door. Um, yeah. But anyway, let's get started. What's up, Hustle Nation? This video has been sponsored to you by WHDAcademy.com, the online course that's going to teach you everything you need to know about the auction game, all my tips on how to properly inspect cars, and most importantly, how to make money. As you can see, I've been doing this for a while. And as you can also see, I have plenty of testimonials on how I've helped others gain success in this business. So if you're interested in learning, be sure to click the link in the description below. All right, Hustle Nation, and it begins once again. The Door Panel Chronicles. The Door Panel Chronicles, man. Messing with this door panel again, man. Get a flathead, hold up. <coughs> Give me a flathead. Take this rubber out of here. Throwing everything in the car, so. Panel popper to pop the panel. Give me a uh, switch. Hold up, I might have to do a screwdriver first. Pop right out with no issue. 
unplug that, set that in the vehicle, unscrew this one, Phillips head, you got three Phillips heads. That one long one, set that in there. You got the one right here inside the handle where you will close your door at. Man, I should have never touched this, uh, what you call it. But like I said, don't matter. got to get it right. Second screw, third screw. And, and shout out to my boy Kev. Kev said I got to for to get the door panel lined up correctly, I got to uh, raise the window down. So now we can start popping the panel. And I ain't asking no thotties. We gonna be sleeping over. I took you all around the world just to see you happy, but I still end up making you. <laughs> I was singing that song all day yesterday. If y'all caught that video, well, y'all watched the video, bro. Damn, did I leave? Okay, some of my um, some of my clips are stuck in the door panel, so let's get those out. Like this one here. Hopefully, I don't mess it up. That one came out good. Where does this one go over there? All right. And one's right here. This one's a goner. This one's a goner. That one's a goner. So I might have another one. I gotta see. Let me see. Yep. I got one. I think all I need is one. So let's go ahead and put that one on the door panel. Now we got all the clips on the door panels. So we're gonna set the door panel to the side. Door panel is to the side. Now, for the fun part, which is stuff out the way. Put that to the side. This panel popper thing is the best. Better than all the rest. Best, better than all the rest. 
Okay, now that's off. Now, for the fun part, it's going to be this part here. So he should be on his way any uh, second now. So let's get some 10 millimeters, some star bits, and yeah. All right, I'm back. I think I got everything that I need for this job. Not too much. So first thing first, I wanted to get this little piece out of here, right here. Matter of fact, grab both of these. Styrofoam. <clears throat> styrofoam cup. In my styrofoam cup. So that's all it is. Now I need to pop this off right here. Bolts. Now I think I'm gonna wait until he actually comes. What is this? Here? Let me actually take this out. Just because I'm curious to see. Yeah, that's nothing. You don't even be able to see in there at all or nothing. So. That was nothing. Put that back. <laughs> that don't even go back no more. But. Got some more to put in there, I think. I don't know, those are pretty small. Oh yeah, I got some more. These can go in there. That can go in there. All right, there's enough fooling around though. So, and watch, you gonna come and be like, man, we gotta take this one out. Like, nah, bro, you ain't gotta take that one out. All right, y'all, so let me try to get this loose right here. The sensor, the sensor was actually kind of hard to get out, honestly. Certain way you gotta like take it out. I took you all around the world just to see exactly what the end of the day can do. What the end of the day can do. What the end of the day can do. Yeah, I got it 
out easy. Now it wanna come out easy. But it was giving me H-E-L-L. -L. So. What is not attached? See if I can use the light. All right, guys, and I'm noticing that my switch, the thing that the yellow piece is on, the yellow thing that snaps, this little rod is supposed to move up and down, but it's not moving up and down. But on this one, my buddy just pulled up, by the way. Now you can actually move this rod right here. Like, see, I'm moving the rod. But for some reason, it's not moving that way on this one. So I'm starting to think, what's up, bro? That, that's what switched in, but let's see. Hold on. Got a nil on the ring. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you see what happened? No, I don't. You see what happened? What the fuck? What did you do? This, this piece wasn't in. So hmm. when you took it out, when you took it out, this piece got to be uh -huh. down. Mm. Mm. Slotted, slotted down. Mm. And then once it locks onto here, then it... Mm. Yo, hey, y'all, make sure y'all follow that boy, Remo. Stop <laughs> Y'all, make sure y'all follow that boy, Remo. Stop playing. Yeah. You done figured it out. It's, when it's out like that, you can't, you'll slot it in, but it's not holding where it needs to be held. So you got to hold. Because okay. right here, it was mm -hmm. pushing it out. So that's why I was like, why is this shit bent? Right. Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all, we got it. We about to put it back together, y'all. See what was going on, man. Make sure y'all follow my boy on IG. We about to get this thing back together. Let's do it. Y'all might be in the way a little bit, but y'all bear with me. Sometimes there's a, oh, you know that gold, like a silver gold piece? It fell. When you screw it in it, mm -hmm. it fell. And it, it, it sits out here. It sits on right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, it fell in the door. It had to. This, I think this. No, the way you had it was right. Cause that plastic piece of what, okay. what locked it in. Let me see that. This is the screw that goes in the corner, right? Yeah, that one and this. Or is it this one? No, Both on this, this side. one. This one go right here. Yeah, this one. Right here. Wait, it goes straight through here though. I was trying to catch it here so it'll be easier. Hmm? Catch it on this side. So once oh, you put okay. that piece up, once you put that piece in, let it go. It's sure though. 
Right. It, it, I know it, it, it was saying, but yeah. I thought maybe it was talking. So when I kept messing with it, it started, I guess it got loose and it just started falling and shit. All right. That's good. Um, you got a slide. Slide it. Let me put this back in. The candle again? Oh, okay. And see like this, you see this piece? Um, this goes into this. Yeah, because when you turn the when you turn the key. Okay. That's what um that's, that's what, what I'm also about for me to do, like try to put all that shit back in because I got it, but I see what I did, I can pull that thing down. Mm. Socket when you put it in. Push it back up. Oh yeah. Should line it up with these holes in right here? Yeah. yeah. yeah I was fucking with that yesterday. You got to like go up straight. I could do it for you. I got gotcha. you. We could roll.
it's going to go. It's going to go like that. So. Clip that in until we put the handle in. Uh, so set me up on your side with uh, the door handle, and then we could um, put that clip in. Push the, push the far back piece in some more. Try to open it. Try to like pull the handle. Yeah, there you go. All right, cool. Um, all right, let me see. All right, the key part now. Um, you got the key. You got the little key with you. Yeah. Try to see if you can put that key part in and then make sure the, the key the key lines up straight. And then um let me see if I push the screw out a little bit so you'll be able to get in. You should be able to wiggle it and then push it out a little bit though. Alright, you got a little bit of space. while you do that piece. both ways okay cool all right we're gonna uh tighten, try to tighten that screw i'll hold this the screw, the, the, um, the screw that's in oh, just just turn it with your hand first and then you tighten it after oh you see it oh, okay. i got it in there you should be able to just turn it sometimes you
get the, the plastic on on that one too, right? Might have to push the screw out just a little bit and then push the lock down. Let's go. We're going to get in the fall. This was a fall all the time Pull it out. Hmm? Can we try to pull the door handle? Not yet. I got tightness. That's good. Got the key with you, right? Mm -hmm. right? You don't need it. I was just making sure. All right. Um, we'll do a test close. Try to close it and then um, open it from the outside. And then you could, um, you might, you can send the car. You put that thing in it? What? I said what thing? Yeah, you can send the car. Just watch, watch this wire, make sure none of the wires don't get caught. Uh, so none of the wires break. Open it on your side. Okay. All right, close it again. All right, cool. Hey, where you got the keys? Yeah, right here. Hey, how you doing? Hey, bro, how you doing? All right. All right, so we could just tighten everything now.
put the lock, the lock piece back in. So the doors are off. They're going with your boy Raymo, man. I do not need the glass because the glass is um is good on the other car, man. I could probably try to sell this stuff, but you know, to me, it's not that serious. So goodbye, old doors. Um, yeah, goodbye, old doors, man. I don't need nothing out of these. Nope, nothing out of these. I could use that those little pieces, huh? I might take those out real quick. But let me show y'all this real quick. Oh wait, no, I don't need those. I already got those pieces. But let me show you guys that we got this thing good. Hold on. Shout out to my boy Raymo, man. So y'all can see open and close. And I showed y'all what was going on with it. And it works from the inside too, so now we just need paint, man. So I'm gonna finish putting all this back together. I just need to put the screw back in here. Screw, screw, and then uh, what is it? Screw, screw. What's the other one that y'all? I forgot. Three. I forgot what other screw go. One, two. I forgot what other screw go. <laughs> but yeah, just put these screws back in here. And then we done, y'all. So let me put this back together. Catch y'all in a second. All right, hustle nation, and we got uh the door back. Um, door panel, everything is back on correctly because y'all know i've seen y'all seen the gap so i got that on correctly i got the door opening and closing so this week uh this coming up week we're going to be painting the gs man we're going to be painting this thing um i was asking a couple of people man um you know y'all can let me know in the comments below but i was thinking about doing that set that red but you know to save some money you know what i'm saying i'm thinking about just going back with the what back with the gray i mean uh brown um you know, the, the, you know, I'm gonna keep this one for a while, but you know what I'm saying. I might come out across, I might come across another one. You know what I'm saying, like the one I seen in Chicago, or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying. I may come across another one. Basically, is what I'm saying. So that look better than this one. You know what I'm saying. So, but for right now, we riding in this one. I might paint the calipers red. I think brown and that red will look good. Even though, like I said, I showed y'all that yellow. I think yellow will look good too, but I think that red will look good. I'll probably have to, I don't want to go black on the wheels because that's just, nah, it's just black, black and brown. I mean, it can go, but I think I would like dark gray or gunmetal. I think that'd be hard. So we'll see, man. But, uh, and I also want to drive the car. Like I tell y'all, man, you got to drive a car for a while to really see what it's going to do. So I really want to drive it. I'm actually like hearing some type of noise. I think the exhaust is like loose or something funny. I think I've seen this before, but I don't forgot what it was but like when i pulled out the driveway I'm, I'm hearing like a little noise like when i you know what i'm saying so gotta make sure everything's good but it definitely needs painting either way it goes so we will be painting the car but before we do anything else like paint the calipers or uh tint the windows all the way you know we're gonna make sure it's a reliable vehicle you know what i'm saying in order for me to keep it for myself so y'all see we got patrick and i gotta think of a name for this car y'all let me know in the comments below it depends it's gonna depend on the color you know what i'm saying i'm thinking about if i keep it uh, brown call it gramps gramps or grandpa or something like that i don't know you know what i'm saying so i don't know we'll see but shout out to the whole hustle nation appreciate y'all man shout out to my boy raymond make sure y'all follow him on instagram you know what i'm saying i appreciate y'all appreciate him man got the lexus dog we riding though man shout out to the whole hustle nation